What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to talk about transmute crystals, kind of some ways to get them and what exactly are they. I know there's a lot of new players out there that may not know what transmute crystals are, may not even know exactly what they do or that you can even get them. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. A transmute crystal is a geode you get for doing certain activities and you can use those geodes, 50 of them total, to change the traits on gear so whether it be rings or you know necklaces uh, any gear piece or weapon you can change the trait on that so just for a quick example if you are farming let's say mother sorrow for your magic character and you're looking for a chess piece and you're wanting a divine chess piece but all you're getting is invigorating and sturdy and all this other stuff while you're farming once you have 50 transmute crystals you can go to a transmutation station and change that to divines if you don't get it in divines you don't get it to drop you can change that trait so that's what the general idea of these uh, geodes are used for now you may think 50 that sounds like a lot and it is but i'm going to give you three ways that, that are in my opinion the best ways to get them there are other ways in the game but they do not net uh, as much as these will the, these three ways that i'm going to give you uh, the first one would be to do your daily undaunted pledges now once you do a daily undaunted pledge, you're going to have a choice to do that pledge in either normal or veteran difficulty. Now, this is going to depend on what difficulty you're playing on, how many geodes you're going to get. You're going to get 1 to 10, 10 being the maximum in veteran, 1 being the minimum in normal. So, you can get 1 to 10 on each character that you do those daily pledges on every day. So, if you think about that, if you have multiple characters... You're going to be able to net a good bit every day. If you just have one character, you're still going to be able to net a good bit in a month's time. The next thing that you can do, of course, if you have friends that play trials, you can turn in your uh, weekly uh, trial quest and receive five transmute geodes as well. So if you have friends that play trials, you can do these trial quests even on normal. So keep that in mind. But between trials and undaunted pledges those are the two best ways in my opinion in pve to get these transmute crystals and also keep in mind sometimes some of the bosses in these dungeons will drop transmute geodes usually the the majority of the time that i have seen it happen for me has been on veteran uh dungeons so you know your veteran undaunted pledges sometimes the the last boss might drop a, a couple of these transmute crystals as a reward the other way that you can get transmute crystals is in pvp now, what you'll have to do is go into PvP and select a 30-day home campaign and set that campaign to your home, uh, to your home campaign. Uh, then once you have done that, all you have to do is go in and reach Tier 1, which is around 25,000 AP, which is the in-game PvP currency. And you might have to maybe get a little closer to 30, but we're going to say 25,000 to 30,000, which does not take that long. Once you hit Tier 1, at the end of the month, when that campaign ends, you will receive 50 transmute crystals in your mail for competing or, you know, just for pretty much playing in that campaign. So, like I said, that is quick to do. If you have multiple characters, let's just use an example. If you had 18 total characters, you went in to Cyrodiil, got tier one on all 18 of those characters, you would have 900 crystals at the end of the month. I know it sounds like PvP rewards the most crystals. But like I said, if you think about it, if you do trials, if you do undaunted pledges, you're still going to be getting a, a fair amount each day. That's going to add up to a large amount at the end of the month. But PvP really does give you a lot of transmute crystals for just reaching tier one. So I know a lot of you out there may hate PvP. You can use the other methods if you want. But if you're not just a person that just loathes playing PvP, getting to tier one is pretty quick on multiple characters. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.